Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I am your host for this weekend astro forecast, so August 18th to the 20th, 2023. So I thought I would come with the comparison between what the physical reality and what the emotional reality is playing out. Okay, I have received a couple of messages from some of you that have been asking me like, hey, what's going on? I was fine. And then slap, bam, boom. <laughs> what's going on? Hi, Gina. Hi, everyone. So I just finished meditating with the group that I have as far as the gathering, the temple, some of you know about this. And I'm just feeling so calm now. And when I looked at the explanation of what's going on, I was like, okay, people, we got to talk. <laughs> Hi, Catherine. Hi from the Bronx. I'm in Cali right now. So let me explain to you a little bit of what's going on, okay? I put like little pink things, okay, to make it like all cushiony and stuff. <laughs> uh, in blue, what we have is this weekend's energy, the placement of the planets. In red is the same, but except that it's connected to the moon, the, no the node of the moon. So it changes the placement of the planets and it kind of piles them onto this layer. So this is the emotional layer in red. So what happens, what triggers a lot, especially for people that don't like to be in their feelings. Okay. Um, if you've been like kind of functioning just with your mind and trying to ride out all those energies and going like, yeah, I'm good. It's all good. And you're starting to feel like oh, anxiety or stress or triggers out of nowhere. It just hits you. Let me explain to you what's going on. Okay. So some of you know, I call this the cosmic dance because the planets are doing this little dance between all of them and creating sometimes very intense in energies for us. And some of you know that those green dotted lines are called quincunx, except when they're kind of pointing like that and creating what we call, it's almost there, it's almost there, a yard. There's an energy that is pointing out this little cluster here, okay? But this is an energy that's playing out on two points here where we have Pluto that is trying to help us with our transformation. Hi! And in terms of inner transformation, but as far as the mental patterns, right now the master teacher of power, the master teacher of you becoming your best self, okay, powerful Pluto, is in retrograde and is trying to help you and support you to rewire some of the patterns of belief system. While we have Neptune, that is the master teacher of how to reach your goals, your aspirations, your dreams, seeing through the illusion, is trying to put an end to certain of those patterns, okay? So we're trying to put an end and it's pointing out to the sun. Okay, so now the sun in the physical reality is the stuff that we know, is the conscious self. To a certain extent, it is actually our ego persona because that's the thing that we know. Now, on the spiritual path, we start learning that we don't know shit. And every time we start knowing something, we realize there's something else that we didn't know. And this is what some of you may be feeling, okay? Yes, Isabel, definitely this is, this is something that right now is huge. And let me explain how the cosmic dance or how the planets are inviting us to join this dance. Hi, Courtney. So what's happening is that behind the ego layer of the you, okay, we've been renewing ourselves and like <laughs> trying to follow the dance pretty gracefully or not. I know for me, <laughs> I didn't feel so grateful. <laughs> so graceful, but yes, grateful, it, it is probably something that is going to come up. Are you able to be grateful for the process? And what's interesting is what I said, grateful instead of graceful, is that this feeling of feeling 
grateful is actually connected to some of the organs and it is the gallbladder and it's connected to also the liver. Those two organs, they are pathways to help us channel more of our spirit, of our soul's energy and also feeling connected to everything. So if you've been feeling very alone, very disconnected, uh, anxious about those energies, anxious because the ego is like, hmm, I know my time is up, but I'm going to do everything to fight it because I don't know what's beyond, you know, what I don't know. So what we have here, we have emotionally the moon, Mercury and Mars. So Mars is energy in motion. So that means all the energy that you've been trying to store, trying to ignore, it's being inflated by the subconscious emotionally on the emotional body and it's kind of literally maybe like just kind of influencing your thoughts so some of you if you've been catching yourself with like things out of nowhere why am i thinking like that why am i like falling into negative patterns why is this or this or that okay this there is here <laughs> there is here some type of calling for you to pay attention to what's behind the appearance of yourself, okay? And that means this is why it actually was a very popular reel when I ta told everyone to pay attention that people are not here to make you happy. And some people are <laughs> so I'm still trying to understand this quote. People are here to make us feel, be conscious, okay? Be conscious of our own strength and our own weaknesses but really who's going to make you happy you're the only one that has this happiness in your hand so there's a lot of things that are being revisited as far as how are we handling this free will and this power because ultimately we're getting to understand more and more how powerful of a creator we are and that means that we are learning more and more that we're responsible for so much in our reality. Now, let's look at that. <laughs> Some of you, you don't know yet what that means. Hi, Nat. And when I saw this, I was like, <laughs> okay, um, we have Chiron. This is like the reverse little key, okay? This is like our deepest wound. And emotionally, we have Jupiter. Now, I have in my natal chart Jupiter next to my moon. So I can tell you that Jupiter is, yes, luck, but it's expansion. So whenever it's next to something, it expands, it inflates. So the wounds, and the wounds of what? Because that placement of Aries is about initiation it's about you initiating your own power what is keeping you from moving forward okay this is being inflated maybe not like right away physically but in the layer of the emotional body and that is usually where we store our what our pain the pain body mm. Okay, so it's being inflated and here we have Uranus, the master teacher of growth that is in Kahoot here, is playing with the North Node, the collective North Node. Now, the collective North Node is in a placement that speaks of us receiving divine light, okay? Enlightenment, illumination, revelation, but that means what? That means we're going to have to address the pain body and don't tell me all of you we don't have pain bodies still <laughs> it doesn't matter how many years of spiritual and energy work there's still especially if you're watching this there's still layers to peel every time i'm like how deep is the onion oh my god <laughs> how deep do you want it so there's more to revisit some of you may have caught also this reel that i created about the spiral Every time the universe is spiraling again for you, don't take it as a negative thing. Oh, karma is hitting me. Oh, I am a bad person. Oh, I'm doing things wrong. No, sometimes it's just a lesson and a review of a certain pattern because there's more for you to discover.
when I went through all those activation and all those energies, I was like, every time I am faced with this fear or anxiety of the ego, mm, I don't feel good. Guess what? There's always a blessing behind the door. Yes, it might be a revelation about like stuff you experience that are not so pretty, that are, you know, hard and traumas and things like this. But beyond this layer, there is the blessing. There is tremendous amount of knowledge. So some of you, you might be feeling those energies. This is why I wanted to talk about this before even like the weekend started. And we're going to have Mercury that's going to be retrograde. So what does that mean? When Mercury is going to be retrograde, this is going to help us dive even deeper into the program the programs of what what you've been doing to yourself this this is this might feel terrible because it is and can be intense especially if you come from a place where you experience deep trauma and when i talk about deep trauma trauma especially when it happens at a certain age we are in different brainwave states so what that means is that if you're under seven years old, you're usually in hypnotize. You're literally absorbing everything, being in those, you know, delta brain waves that are literally just absorbing. So there's no ego. There's no way for you to filter the information, the trauma, the pattern. So a lot of people also may not even remember because what happens is that in the face also of fear, of trauma, the way the body responds, the way it stores it, uh, you might literally start going into um, different brain waves that can make you black out, okay? When you're a high stress level of fight or flight, yes, as some of you, this is definitely five, eight years old trauma and it's it's definitely <laughs> something that is coming up to the surface. So some of you, if you're interested in helping yourself with this, first know this is part of my calling. I have helped myself through sound. Like through those energies, this is when I create sound to help the healing. At this layer of healing consciously of ascension, I am releasing progressively, I'm going to release the 12 organs of the body that are connected to what we call the Merkaba. Your Merkaba is light, soul, body. It's your light body. It's your conscious light body, okay? This is your ascension vehicle. It is connected to 12 organs called the meridians. Some of you, you know it maybe by doing, you know, a little bit of research of Chinese uh, medicine and things like that, acupuncture and those type of understanding. So if you want, you go on my bio link, you already have the liver frequency that is released. I'm probably going to release the gallbladder tomorrow or tonight. I still have to kind of type the description, but it is all already in the works. No one thing that I am using the same sound principle. Okay. Why? Because just like a movie series, okay, when you're watching episode one, then you watch episode two, you're remembering, your brain is remembering the frequency. If I was playing all the 12 frequencies and everything at once, it would be way too intense, okay? <laughs> it's like you're watching the movie all at once in every part. So we're doing this. Uh, progressively in a way that is promoting your life force to be reborn, to be rejuvenated, to be, you know, promoted for healing. Some of you, if you are addressing deeper traumas and you want to start having emotional and spiritual mastery about this, this is, I've already done this program with 12 organs four times within one week. It wiped me out because I didn't realize how deep the traumas had programmed me. And I was able to rewire and see the patterns. And once you kind of like see the patterns, this is a different thing. Then you have to start rebuilding in a pattern that is promoting more love, more light. And this is where everything goes slowly, slower. So some of you, if you want 
support. I have what I call my meditation temple, and this is where you can join the program, okay? For the next three weeks, we're going to be doing this together when I start like posting a little bit more insights about all those organs, what they're doing, and we're gonna have discussion, we're gonna have feedback, we're gonna open up the space for exchange because this is deep work. This is definitely a place where from that new moon in Leo, this old 28 day cycle that we're entering is going to be about you being able to recognize what is stifling your life force, why you don't have energy for this, for your project. And especially what I realized, a lot of people were, that come to me when they're looking for their purpose or things that like light them up. I realized that a lot of the patterns that we were living through the society and through going through trauma was often disconnecting us from a very crucial element, which is the fire element, which is very much connected to the heart, to some of the patterns of the thyroid, so all the heart system. And this is where passion comes. This is what, you know, like what we're all looking for when we're like looking at each other and it's like, oh, wow, my God, they're so passionate about this. That's why we love watching this. Realize that what is very attractive when you're looking outside of yourself is passion. This is, this is the embodiment of the God, God is self in motion. But first we have to work with the connection and the connection is very much linked to the wood element, which is the ether element, which is the liver and the gallbladder. So again, if you need help, go on to my bio link. You will have access to my music playlist and you'll find already deliver. I will deliver the gallbladder very shortly, but the ones that need support and wants to dive deeper in this process that want to be part of a group, you can also find in the bio link how to access and join me for activating and healing the pathway of your higher self because literally your life force your kundalini that energy that makes you light up this is the god god itself this is your kundalini this is your higher self this is your expression of what you're meant to become and it's already inside of you it's already there the only thing that it's been stifled with some of the dna imprints some of the outside experience that we you've gone through but this is your spiritual light this is already there it just has been stifled with some of those layers and this is why i kind of like to review those comparison here of the physical reality and the emotional <laughs> reality um this is because this is going to trigger what we call the pain body because your energy wants to come out and play okay as far as how do you awaken it personally i only know one way which is through meditation breathing techniques uh i like to use mudra i like to use mantras again if you want support and practice for this this is where i would recommend joining the temple we are only getting started <laughs> uh, for the next couple of weeks there so that's what i had to you know, share with you for this weekend. This is deep, you guys, okay? This is, but this is deep work because you have deep, powerful powers. You have a purpose. You have a lot to offer. And if you're feeling a lot of discomfort, that is reflecting a little bit of the contrast. It's like, don't think like, oh, this is how far I am because I'm feeling like shit right now. No. This is the contrast of how much you actually are powerful. This is showing you like how, like the distance, like the polarity, almost like, you know, with two magnets, if you're putting them and you're feeling like the, the attraction, this is, this is kind of like showing you the polarity. So when you're in those places where you're feeling uh, separated or anxious or everything is in like contrast of where you are, realize that... You're, that contrast, that distance, it can be felt in the negative or in the positive. It's just you being on the other side, okay? And that means through meditation, for certain practice, and yes, you, you, again, you will have to listen to your intuition to what calls you in as far as activation. I personally used sound first.
okay? This is why I am gifting all, everyone, the collective, those frequencies. And if you feel that those frequencies are working for you and that they're helping you, I've seen like some tremendous freaking results. Some people that have like limps that the next, that after listening, they don't limp anymore. Why? Because realize that your organs are affecting your vertebrae. Now that doesn't cure the limp. The next day you might limp again, but you might be able to catch what is the thought, what is the emotional pattern, the emotional and brain thought pattern that is creating the limp, okay? So that's, that's like really when you start having this type of awareness, this is self-mastery. This is you not letting your experience control you. Your mistakes control you. Your moments of, or your traumas control you. It's actually you harnessing the potential of those traumas, of whatever happened to you. Thank you so much for the badge. I'm so thankful. Uh, and take this and harnessing as a power, as something that y it's your experience and you are making it something that is of tremendous value. But you need to know what that is. And only you, by going through this process, can know what that is. I was like astonished by, by reviewing all my traumas. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, I did not like the, 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 the concept of my higher self telling me, oh, we're going to have to review the last 40 years, honey. And I'm like, why? We already reviewed this. I thought that we already healed this. But it was more impressive. It was actually showing me the, the greater strength. The greater uh, some parts that I had never put together, but especially it also shown me pathways that could help others to surmount the healing, you know, process of the pain body. Okay, because this is deep, but the ones that have traumas, it's almost like you recognize in the face of your triggers, you recognize your system. And for me, it was interesting. I was like, it didn't matter until I was fully aware of my own systems and my own triggers and how I would use different patterns. I was always going to bring me to the state of the trauma, which is destruction, which is powerlessness. It didn't matter. And remember, this is what we have here. It's almost like it was going to show me that no matter how much willpower, no matter how much I train myself to be an athlete mindset, to be this, to be that, that, that. I had some imprint from personal trauma and experiences that no matter how strong I was working, remember the, the stronger you resist, the more it persists and it grows. It was going to <laughs> explode and implode in my face again and again. And I had experienced that already. I just didn't understand the program. And this is what we are already right now starting to face together as a collective. So again, if you can't afford the program or you don't feel ready for a program as a group, remember, I have my music frequency healing and we're going to cover those 12 organs. Thank you so much for your presence. Thank you so much for being part of the channel and supporting me. I appreciate you. Namaste.